Hey there, intrepid explorers. Today we're stepping into the vibrant city of Amsterdam. Known for its rich history, picturesque canals, and a culture that's as unique as it gets. We're counting down the most important things to see and do in this Dutch capital. So if you're looking for some quick travel inspiration, you're in the right place. My name is Paolo Bo, and this is the Radio Vagabond, top seven must-see attractions in Amsterdam. This is the Radio Vagabond. Number seven on our list is Fontels Park. It's like Amsterdam's very own green getaway, perfect for just hanging out and relaxing. Imagine tall trees swaying gently in the breeze, and all around you there's this peaceful vibe. You got cyclists cruising by on the paths and ducks gracefully gliding in the ponds. It's like something you'd see in a picture-perfect postcard, giving you a break from the city's craziness. But Fundles Park isn't just any park. It's a whole mood. You can plop down on a bench, take a deep breath and let your worries fade away. Whether you're sipping coffee by the water or simply people watching under a shady tree, it's all about enjoying life's little moments. It's a peaceful escape from the chaos of city life and totally worth it. This episode is supported by Hotels25.com. As you know, it's a website that helps you find the best deals on a place to stay. But now you can also search flights. Just go to Hotels25.com and have a look. Coming in at number six is the Anne Frank House. I'm sure you know Anne Frank was this young Jewish girl who hid here in Amsterdam with her family during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. They were hiding in a small room behind a swinging bookcase in this house, now turned into a museum. This is where she wrote and left her diary that was published as The Diary of a Young Girl. It's a place where history comes alive and emotions run deep. It's more than just a museum, it's a journey through time that leaves a lasting impression on your soul. As you step inside, you're transported back to a time filled with fear, courage and hope. The air is thick with untold stories and every creaking wooden floorboard whispers of resilience in the face of adversity. Walking through the secret annex, you can't help but feel the weight of history on your shoulders. It's a small space, so numbers of visitors per day is limited, but within its walls the silence speaks volumes. You'll feel the raw emotion that still lingers in these rooms, gaining a deeper understanding of the struggles she faced and the bravery she showed. It's a reminder of the power of the human spirit in the darkest of times. Note that you can't just walk up and hope to get a ticket. You can only get them online on annefrank.org and only every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central European time, up to six weeks in advance. So it takes a bit of planning. Next up is the Albert Cope Market. And let me tell you, this is a real treat for your senses. Imagine you're strolling through this bustling market and the air is filled with the most amazing smells like the freshly baked stroop waffles, mmm, sizzling herring and the rich gouda cheese. It's like somebody cranked up the energy of Amsterdam and let it burst onto the streets. Now, the market itself is a total explosion of colors, rows upon rows of stalls packed with fruits and veggies in every shade you can think of. And the vendors, they're shouting out their goods, trying to catch your eye with the tastiest tomatoes and the crispiest carrots. It's like a big, lively game of veggie Tetris, with each stall a colorful piece of the puzzle. And let's talk about the people watching. It's top-notch. You can see locals haggling over fish and tourists wide-eyed and amazed, trying to take it all in. It's a mix of cultures, all gathering to celebrate Dutch food in this chaotic, wonderful place. But hey, don't just stand there staring, dive in, get yourself a fresh apple juice, weave through the crowds and embrace the chaos. You might just stumble upon the best bitter ballon of your life. This is the Radio Vagabond. Let's step into a world where beer is king at number four on our list, the Heineken experience. As soon as you walk in, it's like a party for your senses. Bubbles, barley, you name it. First off, this place is huge. It's like somebody turned a brewery into a theme park. There are giant vats and shiny kettles everywhere. 
just daring you to take a sip and join the beer revolution. But it isn't your typical museum, oh no. At the Heineken Experience you can roll up your sleeves, or at least get a little sticky. You can try labeling bottles, learn how to brew like a pro, and even pour your own pint. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but with more hops. And the best part? The tasting at the end. It's like a delicious science experience, and you're the taste tester. Just watch out, they don't call it the Heineken experience for nothing. As you stumble out, feeling a bit buzzed and totally impressed, you'll realize that it's not just about beer. It's about celebrating Dutch creativity and passion. So raise your glass, my friend, and let the Heineken experience change the way that you see beer. Cheers. Third on our list is the Rijksmuseum. A treasure trove of Dutch art and history that promotes much more than your average museum visit. Imagine the majestic halls adorned with golden accents beckoning you to embark on a journey through centuries of Dutch heritage. As you step inside, the air is infused with the scent of aged canvas, setting the scene for an immersive experience like no other. And then there's the Rembrandt's Night Watch. Standing proudly before you, its characters seemingly alive and watching over the past of time. It's a moment that captures the essence of the museum, a blend of artistic mastery and historical significance. But the Rijksmuseum offers more than just paintings on the wall. It's a gateway to the Dutch Golden Age, where every corner whispered tales of bygone eras. From intricate tapestries to delicate porcelain, each exhibit tells you a story of the rich tapestry of the Netherlands. And as you wander through its ornate corridors, you can't help but feel a sense of awe at the sheer breadth of history contained within its walls. It's a journey through time, a celebration of Dutch identity and creativity. Before we continue with the last two on the list, a quick word about these mini episodes that I call Vagabond Shorts. As you know, I'm mostly a podcaster, and I still do those deep dives, dives in my longer podcast episodes every Tuesday. But this year, I started doing these 10-minute episodes, both as a podcast and as a video. To achieve the professional quality in the videos, I collaborate with a company called VitPros. I record my content, send it to them, and they enhance it with relevant video clips and smooth transitions. This collaboration not only saves me time, but also gives me high quality content. If you're looking for a professional video editor for your business, there's a special offer. Use the promo code VAGABOND at vidpros.com for 10% off your first month. This service includes royalty-free music, stock footage, template, motion graphics, as well as subtitles to use in your videos. See more about what they do on vidpros.com. And now let's get back to the list. Bagging the silver medal is the classic Amsterdam experience, the Canal Cruise. Picture yourself on a boat gently gliding along the city's many iconic waterways, passing on the charming bridges, decked with trailing flowers and along majestic historic buildings. It's a relaxed way to immerse yourself into the charm of Amsterdam. During the day, as sunlight bathes the city, you'll marvel at the scenic facades of the canal houses each telling its own story of Amsterdam's rich history. But it's in the evenings, where the sun dips below the horizon and the city's lights flicker to life, that the magic truly unfolds. Amsterdam's illuminated canals are a sight to behold, casting a mesmerizing glow on the water's surface as you cruise along. As you sit back and relax, the gentle rocking of the boat and the soothing melody of the lapping waters create a serene atmosphere. The Canal Cruise is a journey through Amsterdam's heart and soul. When I did this, I was given a headset with descriptions of what I passed. So grab a seat, settle in and let the canals weave tales of romance and adventure around you. With every twist and turn, you'll discover a new facet of Amsterdam's captivating story. Drum roll, please. The number one spot goes to the Van Gogh Museum. Stepping inside feels like time traveling to 19th century Holland, or the Netherlands, as it's rightfully called. As you wander around, you can practically feel the energy of Van Gogh's brushstrokes crackling in the air. It's like the paintings are alive, ready to pull you into their colorful whirlwind of emotions. As you stand inches away from the bedroom or sunflower, trying to unlock 
Van Gogh's artistic mysteries. But just when you think you've figured him out, along comes the Van Gogh experience to shake things up. It's like they toss the museum into a blender and splatter the results on the walls around you. Imagine stepping into one of the Van Gogh paintings where everything blurs and the colors dance. The Van Gogh experience is a full-on sensory blast with a hot pumping soundtrack to match. You'll float through fields of sunflower in one moment, then dive into the starry night the next. It's a wild ride for sure. Whether you go for the classic museum or the trippy experience or both, one thing's for sure, you'll walk away with a deeper appreciation of Van Gogh's genius. Just don't be surprised if you start seeing halos around the street lamps on your way home. It's all part of the Van Gogh effect. And that wraps up our tour of the top seven things to see and do in Amsterdam. But hey, if you got more hidden gems or personal favorites, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this episode as valuable as a pocket full of tulips, don't forget to, to share them with your fellow travel enthusiasts and subscribe for more videos like this one. My name is Palabo, and I gotta keep moving. See ya. The Radio Vagabond. Gotta keep moving.